Johnny Tribe, you're welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing us how to make a mermaid skirt in just five minutes. Yes, in five minutes. And I have simplified this video. So in order for beginners, intermediate and advanced all levels to be able to understand. So make sure to watch carefully where you need to pause. Make sure to pause and then continue. If you have any question, make sure to leave it down in the comment section or make sure to answer all your questions accordingly. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Make sure to click on the subscribe button if you have not done that. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to be imputing the vertical measurement. I'll be starting with the waistline. So I'll mark out the waistline or the start line and row. Next, I'm going to impute my waist circumference divided by 4 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Then I'll go ahead and mark my waist to hip measurement of about 9 inches and connect with the ruler. Next, I'm going to mark my waist to new measurement of 21 inches I also connect that with my ruler lastly I'll mark the full length of skirt yeah I'll be using 49 inches because I want the skirt to be flowy so 49 inches for the skirt so now i'm going to go ahead and extend all these lines that i've drawn out i will also mark my hip circumference divided by four Close sewing allowance of one inch. You can decide to use any amount of sewing allowance, but for my project, I'm just going to be using one inch. So I'm going to impute the new measurement. I'm going to be subtracting just one inch from my hip measurement to give me my new circumference, and then I'll be adding the allowance to also I'll connect to my ruler. So I'm going to make sure that I don't have any sharp edge. I'm going to be using my curve ruler to curve all the sharp edges. And now I'm going to be extending the mermaid by the side seam. I'm connecting it with my long ruler. And I'll make sure I don't have any sharp edge by making it curvy. Now go ahead and mark half inch at this side seam and connect my ruler to the center front to give me a nice sitting skirt. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out. So now this is the back bodies. I'm going to go ahead and put my front bodies onto the back bodies and leave about five to six inches down for the train. And I'll also leave excess of about 10 to 20 inches at the center front to give me the tail. I'm just marking out the dart and zipper allowance of 0.5 at that side. Then I'll go up here by 0.5 inches and extend the line. Then I'm going to go ahead and put one inch there for my zipper. Remember I put 0.5 at that side, so I'm going to be putting 1 inch here and then on the hip line I'll put 1.5 there. Also on the new line. Also on the new line I'll put 1.5 and then connect it. Then I'm going to go ahead and extend my train 
by how many inches I want so for this I added like 20 inches so I'm going to go ahead and then draw a nice curve connecting the side seam to the tree like this and then I'll go ahead and cut it out and we're almost done and that is it thank you for watching guys make sure to subscribe and like thank you